the communication side. Porter. Oh, stop oh, it! Drop stop it! Two. Then runs it up the hole. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that from Kevin Porter Jr. Growing with each and every game. And the guy who, you know, kind of started towards the end of the bench and now worked his way not only into the rotation, but into the starting lineup. It was night three of the season. Coming off a 139 to 132 loss to Minnesota on Sunday. Uh, Drummond goes down. Porter takes advantage with an ankle breaker and a splash. Russ, Funk, and LeBron. The five on the floor lead this dribbling exhibition by Porter Jr. Lays it up. That's a good dish. And a throwdown by KJ Martin. Oh, Odd wow. considering that he was the NBA's leading fourth quarter scorer a year ago. So he knocks down the three and. Celtics with some breathing room, a little bit of a nice move down. They can just get the lane off, jump off of one leg and get tough shots to go. Levine's got 10. Kevin Porter Jr. spinning into the lane. Good job there, Kevin Porter Jr. as he drove. Get a hand up, make it much, a little bit more difficult than otherwise. Kevin Porter's got to shoot that first mid-range. And he does take that eventually from 20, knocks it down. And... My goodness. We are being told that Carmelo corner three is being looked at to see if it might be a two or the toe on the line. Big time answer by Kevin Porter Jr. Man to the rock. Well, I'm going to say it again. The Dallas Mavericks shoot the three. That is what they do. They run pick and rolls and they shoot Ooh, the three. What the five. Good drive there, you know. See if they can add to it now. Porter. Going to try Gordon. They'll shoot the three and that's good. Every time the Nuggets get to that point, Houston responds. Got to put together a run right now. Porter spinning. He throws it up and in. Phoenix is too good defensively just to have one effort. It's got to be multiple efforts, multiple movements of the ball. Porter working baseline, double in trouble, finds Tice somehow, threw it up and in, plus the foul. Even when he's not scoring, the defense has improved, and Coach Silas trusting in him. In him. Rockets out, rebounding the Bulls by six. Here's a pullback three. Kevin Porter Jr. Just the best available player on the board. You know, you don't have to get redundant. And sometimes, you know, you've seen organizations do that. Wow. Good pass. Hey. There for Garuba, his first bucket of the game. It was two games ago against Portland. He had 31 points. Porter. I mean, Cam Johnson just... Grab Porter on the drive. A lot of the NBA players don't do it. He seems to draw one or two of those per game yeah. now. A little step back, uh -oh. a little nasty uh -oh. dribble uh -oh. move there by Kevin Porter <laughs> Jr. And he pays it off by knocking down the J. That's Chips James Hart. Instead of Von Wafer's James Hart. That was just a little bit in depth. Anytime I can mention Von Wafer, I do. A little step back three, and it goes down to Kevin Porter Jr. to stop. Now, where would they be without Tyler Hero? He has been Mr. Offense, both going to the rim and out beyond the arc. Oh, that counts for Kevin Porter Jr., plus a heat foul on P.J. Tucker. Forcing Memphis to play in the half court. Great job, Rockets. Porter dancing on Morant into the lane. Squares up. Rolls it up and in one point game. Ryan, you said it at the beginning of the broadcast. 14 of 24 with 24 points in the paint. <laughs> yeah. Porter Jr. Number oh, three. Got to push here in transition. You don't want Golden State to get their defense set. Ooh. Porter working on Thompson. Drives the lane, finds Tate, and the Rockets have the lead.